up you guys? It's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I have something really exciting for you guys. I wanted to share with you all one of the medical simulations that I have on Get That's University. So in this video, what you'll be able to be is kind of be like a fly on the wall. You will be in the exam room with the PA as they examine the patient and you're actually going to get to participate uh, throughout this video. You're going to be able to see the lab results and you're going to get to guess and see if you can figure out what's going on with the patient before the PA actually gives you the answer so I'm excited for you guys to see it I hope you guys enjoy it um, there is a lot more of this on get that to university so if you have not already joined become a member um, and kind of experience all that we have to offer I suggest you do so but what you're gonna see next is the medical simulation I hope you enjoy it I hope you get to learn some new stuff and you know we'll see how you do at the end of it all all right here we go That's going to be seeing you today. Yeah. Who's bringing you in today? You're a PA. Yes, sir. I really would like to see a doctor. So the doctor is seeing other patients, but I am just as capable. So um, if you're in pain or you're hurting, I think it would be good for you to see me um, so we can get this. this I, I've seen going. PAs before, all okay. right? I, I, am in, I am in a lot of pain, okay? Okay. So I really would like to see the doctor. Um, so it's up to you. We can have you wait. I don't know how long that wait will be, um, but if you're really in pain, I would like to help you. So, um, and I'm here available now. So if you want to go that route, I can absolutely allow that. Okay? All right, look at me now. Okay. Look, I, I'm in a lot of pain. Okay, so when did the pain start? About an hour ago. An hour ago? Okay. Yeah. And where is the pain? Uh, it's the chest okay. and, my, and, my, and my left arm. Okay. And it feels like it's constricting. All right. Okay. Constricting. Yeah. Um, so have you had this pain before? No. Okay. Uh, have you had any difficulty breathing? Actually, no. Okay. But I'm getting a lot of pain here and my left arm and this feels very constricting and I've had problems with nausea as well. Okay, nausea. Um, have you been sweating at all? Yes. Like diaphoretic? Yes, I've, okay. had a, I've had a cold sweat. Um, I'm going to just put your foot out. Cold sweat? Yes. Okay, okay. all right. I'm going to put your down, back down. I want to listen to your heart and your lungs, okay? <laughs> And any time pain like this comes in, we're really concerned, um, you know, just for your age and the onset of it, okay? So after I listen to your heart and your lungs, what I will do is I will get an EKG. Just breathe regularly. All right, do you have any past medical history that I should know of? Uh, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Yeah, I've had a problem with high cholesterol. Okay, and are you taking anything for that? Yes. Okay, and are, do you take your medication regularly? Yeah, I take, it every, I take it every night. I'm on a cholesterol lowering drug. Okay, all right, and any other past medical history I should know of? Um, um, I have a problem with Crohn's disease. Okay. A uh, tremor. Okay. Um, and about the spinal surgery. Okay. Um, and then, um, or do you smoke at all no. or drink alcohol? Only okay. occasionally. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to absolutely have the MA come in and do an EKG on you. I'm really concerned that you might be having a, what is called an MI or a heart attack. Um, we're going to give you some aspirin to help with that. Uh, what it will do is it will cause your blood cells not to clump. Um, and then I will get you some oxygen as well because that will help bring oxygenation to your, your lungs and your bloodstream, okay? Um, 
the EKG will show me if you're having a heart attack right now or if you've had a heart attack um, recently and we're just kind of seeing like the symptoms of it. I'll give you, this is really tight. It feels really, really tight. So um, the aspirin, the, uh, the oxygen, and some nitro, I'll give you some nitroglycerin as well, will help with all of that. It will allow the, bl the blood vessels to kind of open up and vasodilate to allow flow back to um, the various different areas that may be clogged up, okay? So because it's an emergency, I'm gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna put all those orders in uh, and then we will see uh, where we can go from there, okay? Okay. All right, do you have any questions for me? No. Okay, hold on one second, okay? They're gonna be in shortly. So it's been a few hours. Um, I've looked at the markers of your heart muscle. It's called troponin. It's elevated, meaning that you have recently had a heart attack. Um, and I also looked at the 12 lead EKG and it shows that you have elevations, um, which means that your heart is stressed in these particular leads that shows that you're having an inferior heart attack, okay? So everything that I gave you, the oxygen, the morphine, the nitroglycerin, and the aspirin will help with that. Um, we're going to monitor you for uh, maybe a couple more hours just to see if your troponin starts going down. And if it does, that's a good thing. Um, we're out of the woods, and what we can do from there is ensure that you get a cardiology consult with one of our cardiologists here at the hospital. Um, and they'll be able to help you moving forward and put you on the necessary drugs so that this doesn't happen again, okay? Um, I know that you said that you have high cholesterol, so some of the things that you can do uh, in the future is to continue to be compliant with your medications and just kind of watch what you're, you're eating to help with allowing that plaque to not um, build up in your arteries, okay? Okay. How's your pain? How's your pain doing? It's a little bit better. Okay. It's still there. Okay. I mean, still... So we will definitely give you some more morphine that will help with the pain as well um, and any anxiety that you may be feeling, and then we'll work from there, okay? Okay. But I'm glad that you came in because this could have been a whole lot worse, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm glad that you came in. Uh, we will take care of you. Don't worry. Is there anybody that we can call for you that you might want to come and be with you while you're going through all of this? You can call my girlfriend. Okay. All right. So we'll get her number and we'll call her and let her know that you're here um, and that you're, we're taking care of you. Okay? okay? All right. All right. Nice to meet you. You just stay calm. We'll take good care of you. Okay? All right. Thanks. All right. Have a good day. medical simulation i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more of this you can go to get that and become a member today thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate each and every one of you um, if you haven't already done so like this video follow me on instagram and subscribe i will talk to you guys next time bye